Hi everyone, I'm MJ and I'm saying hello from finest Punta Cana in the beautiful Dominican Republic. Today I'm thrilled to share my experience staying at the Excellence Club at this splendid resort. Oh, let's go! I was beyond hyped for the second half of my holiday and here we are ready to savor another four nights in paradise. From the very moment you arrive at this resort, a warm welcome awaits you upon exiting your transportation, where a friendly face takes care of your luggage and another extends a glass of sparkling wine, setting the tone for your stay. Soon, you're whisked away to the Excellence Club check-in area, an experience in itself. Here, a stylish bar serves up amazing concoctions while you await your check-in. Now let me introduce you to the Golden Bar, the go-to spot in the lobby. The decor oozes modern elegance, from the chic lighting fixtures to the tasteful wood accents and lavish marble that screams luxury. Whether you're in the mood for a mocktail or a classic cocktail, this is the place to be. Find a comfortable spot, relax, and bask in the ambiance. Here you'll find the theater, where you'll be heading in the evenings for some entertaining live shows night after night. Let's explore the lush, modern grounds adorned with local leafy plants and flowers. This is the spot where the Excellence Band cranks out Latin music in the evenings, and you can even experience a silent disco. It's all part of the unforgettable experience after dinner and the thrilling theater show. As you venture outside the lobby, you'll find the La Cocinita food truck, dishing up some classic Mexican bites, and for drinks, the Central Plaza Bar. Non-club finest guest rooms are located within this area. The landscape here is a masterpiece, beautifully simple yet well-maintained. You can see the beautiful Flamingo Park for kids in the distance. The soothing melodies that serenade you as you stroll through the property creates an ambience of pure tranquility. Now it's breakfast time at Domo, the exclusive club restaurant for excellence guests. The decor is nothing short of stunning. The food is delectable and the staff is warm, welcoming and ever so attentive. Outside of the club area, you'll find the lounge, your go-to spot for late night shenanigans. Grab a drink, hit the dance floor and let the good times roll. Now, as we venture to the other side of the property on our way to the room, take a moment to soak in the beauty of this picturesque pond. If you're lucky, you might even spot the three elegant flamingos. I found myself eagerly anticipating these graceful creatures each day, capturing their beauty in photos. And now the room. In a nutshell, the room was spacious, clean, and comfortable. Each morning, the wake-up call ensured everything was A-OK. -okay. Every day, the mini bar was replenished. There was always extra water, snacks, toiletries, and fresh towels. If you ever need anything, a quick call was all it took. Now, if I were to nitpick, I noticed some hard water buildup on the rainfall shower head, but nothing a little cleaning couldn't fix. The robes in the room left much to be desired, showing signs of wear and tear to the extent they should be replaced. There's one thing that had me scratching my head, the air conditioner. It functioned great during the day, yet on a couple of nights, I found myself a tad overheated. Perhaps it's just me, but the bed and covers were a dream. They were marshmallow soft. I ended up using the pool more than the jacuzzi. There's nothing quite like having your own private pool. I have a dedicated room tour video which I'll link down in the description box or pinned in the comment section below. I'll show you the room just as you'd see it when you first walk in plus dolled up for a birthday bash. 
Now room service. It had some decent options. It might not win any culinary awards, but it hits the spot. Expect a slightly longer wait time than promised, but the taste more than compensates for it. Before I hit the beach, I would grab some fish and chips or Dominican pizza from the food truck. While the distant view is breathtaking, up close you'll encounter a seaweed-filled sea. They tried their best to clean up the ones that washed up on shore, but the beach was more for wave listening than swimming during my September visit. The hydrotherapy session at the spa was a refreshing and invigorating experience that left me feeling rejuvenated. Oh, and did I mention it was complimentary? Come on, come on here, come on here. Limbo was a fun bar to stop by for a drink. The staff here is full of energy and they whip up excellent drinks. The Excellence Club pool was perfect for an evening dip when the Caribbean sun is a tad less intense. There's ample space and shade to launch, and the pool's layout is more about chilling than splashing. Floating around on the inflatables is a definite highlight, and the swimmer bar was a convenient spot to keep our drinks topped up. Watching the sun go down and the property light up was truly a sight. I had the pleasure of dining at three fantastic restaurants. The Melting Pot, Lizzo, serving delightful Mexican cuisine, and Domo for my birthday. The food was exquisite, and while the portions are on the smaller side, you can order to your heart's content to leave completely satisfied. The resort's theater offers a different show each night, and I eagerly anticipated them, from American and Latin nights to the captivating circus show. Only on karaoke night, I made an early exit. Nightcap on our final night, Legends Sports Bar was the spot, offering delightful drinks and shots before retreating to the room. Even though I may have looked and felt like I'd gone a few rounds with Rocky in the ring, it didn't dampen my overall enjoyment. But a do-over is definitely in the future. This isn't a party-centric resort and that suited me just fine for this trip. But let me tell you, next time I hope to have some action-packed days. From learning Latin dance moves to taking part in the fun games and activities. And when the sun sets, you better believe some unforgettable nights. That wraps up my stay in the captivating Dominican Republic. If you missed the first half, be sure to catch it by clicking on this video here. Until next time, take care and happy travels.